You are now listening to the How to Evolve podcast. You can find this channel on Twitter, Gab.ai, BitChute, and Minds.com. This is a Real American Patriot channel for Real American Patriots. If you're not a Real American Patriot, please exit the channel. Furthermore, we are not sponsored by any outside interference. That means we're unscripted, unrehearsed, and unedited. With that being said, transmission will commence momentarily. How are you guys doing? Welcome to the Honey Bar Podcast. I'm your host, Safan. Find me at minds.com, bitchu, Twitter, and gap.com. What's important? Like, share, and subscribe. I don't know, guys. Let's start the show. In this episode, I want to discuss what's not reported. Or what's, what should be reported, right? It's about Donald Trump pulled the nomination from John Ratcliffe as Director of National Security. Right? And this article is going to cover the situation. In one moment, I'll pull up the article. You guys are greatly appreciated. Without you guys, this channel would not be possible. And I thank you. There you go. That's the article. Trump pulled a nomination for John Ratcliffe as Director of National Intelligence, right? Republican Texas Representative John Ratcliffe will not be the next Director of the DNI. After all, President Trump announced on Friday in Twitter that Trump said Ratcliffe would draw from the reali- after realizing how difficult the uh, the Senate confirmation process would be. A lot, he would get a lot of heat. That's why. I explained to John how miserable it would be for him and his family to deal with the people. Trump said, Donald Ratcliffe therefore decided to stay in Congress where he's done such outstanding and job representing the, the people of Texas and, and the country. I will announce the nomination by DNI shortly. There's rumor that it might be this woman named, what's her name, Susan, whatever her name is. I forgot what her name. She was a She's a veteran within the, the Intelligence Committee. Okay. Radcliffe nomination have received harsh criticism of the Democratic Sen- the Senate Democrats who accused a Trump administration of attempting to politicizing the Intelligence Committee. Radcliffe have emerged as a staunch ally of the President and Congress criticizing the House Democrats for continuing to investigate for Trump even after Special Counsel Mueller filed failed to find evidence of collusion between Trump and Russia government during the 2016 presidential election. Of course, there was no evidence, so was there to be a, he was innocent. In order to prove something, to charge something, there got to be evidence. There's no evidence. How are you going to charge somebody with not, without any evidence? What, circumstantial? It's not civil courts, right? You can't use circumstantial evidence. While I, while I am, will remain very grateful of the president of intention to nominate me as a director of national intelligence, I would derive from the consideration, Radcliffe said, I was humbled and honored by the president, put trust in me to lead the nation intelligence operation, and remain convinced that, that when confirmed, I will have done so much with objectivity, fairness, integrity that our intelligence agency need to deserve, need to deserve, and deserve. Before withdrawing, Radcliffe has been replaced by Republican Indiana Senator Don Coates, who served as the Director of National Intelligence for the first two and a half years of Trump presidency, right, Don Coates. And I think the woman that's doing right now, that, that's that's up for the grab is, I forgot her name, Susan Doyle, whatever her name is. Right? She's a veteran of the Intelligence Committee for, what, 30 plus years, right? Now, she's a woman, so I don't know how that gonna mean, but that's the situation because because this guy known to stick up for President Trump. This is why we, he's being hounded by all these media and they want him in there. All right, this is the deep state at work, guys. And it's kind of sad that he might go through this stuff. But it, what Donald Trump need to do is not to put any more swap creatures. I don't, I don't, I don't trust this woman. All right, Susan Doyle, whatever her name is, Susan something right she's been in the system for so many years so she's part of the swamp I, I some people might say oh she's a good person she's a good she's a member of good intelligent you know what that's good and all but just because she's been there for so many years that doesn't mean she's not um corrupt all right she's been embedded in the intelligence committee for so many years how do you know she could trust her words all right so I'm very sketchy about that. I would not put her in there if I was the president because because the, the point is to clear the swamp. First thing that he done right was got rid of Dan Coates, whatever his name is. All right. He was part of the swamp for many, many years. And to get him out and replace him with more crop, swamp creatures, I think that's the best way, bad way to go. Put your own people. Stop, getting, stop putting all these career politicians in the position of power. 
Pop shop. That's all I gotta say. And yeah, so basically, we're waiting for the confirmation of the new DNI, and hopefully Donald Trump make up his mind and not stick with the current one that woman Susan whatever name is or something whatever her name is I'm not sure I'm just apologizing if I couldn't get the real information on her but she's out there you guys look for her but yeah that's what I think and just no more swamp creatures so these swamp creatures are de- it's gonna be his demise if you're gonna put swamp cre- more swamp creature in there he, he he'll not get anything done I'm telling you he need to, he need to put more people that he trusted. Forget what the Democrats thinking about. Forget forget what you don't need the Democrats right now. All right, they're doing all these stupid stuff, doing all, all these unconstitutional things, t- taking his name off the ballot because he's not submitting five years of tax reform. First of all, you can't do that. It's California, Democratic California. That's unconstitutional. How you guys you remember the government? How you guys do, do not understand the constitutions? Federal government stop over state government state laws. All right. But that's what these Democrat people are doing. They try to to discredit um, the presidencies right now, saying all this stuff, denouncing all his appointees. How do you even get things done if you just deny all the people that you don't like? All right? You can't have your way. You just can't. It's like the song he played at every his rally. You just can't get what you want by the Rolling Stones. You can't always get what you want. I think that's a message to the Democrat or the liberals. Sometimes you just can't get everything what you want. Sometimes the thing that you want is the one the stuff that you don't need. You there's a difference between wants and needs, right? The Democrat want liberal president in there, but just because, look, like you might want somebody who's liberal, who's nice guy. You might somebody you want a nice guy in the office, but again, you don't need a nice guy in the office. You cannot have a nice guy to 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 combat with Russia, China. These people don't take kindly to nice leaders. All right, like Barack Obama, he was a nice guy. He's too much of a nice guy. All right, and what what's nicest proof? Nicest proof that you're weak. When you're too nice, you're too, you're too weak. That's what it is. All right, you cannot have not nice leaders to fight over with what our enemies. We have nice 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 guys for eight years now. All right, that's what the song. Coming back in first circle, that's what the song's referring to. If you notice in every his rally, at the end of his rally, he's played that song. You can't always get what you want. All right, people want nice guy. You know what? And people say this is unprecedented. He's not impersonal. You know what? The term presidential is very subjective. All right? If the people elect him, if he's the president, therefore he's the definition of presidential. Therefore, he's the term of presidential. Presidential is a vague term. Anything could be presidential, all right? Just because you think it's a nice guy, a president, a president don't have to be a nice guy, all right? We don't need a nice guy in the office. We need a, somebody who stand by his words and stick by it. But, but yeah, they try to discredit the president, try and try not to approve his nomination. But let me know what you think. You think this is more? You think this is a distraction? You think this is? Um, the Democrat is not playing fair politics. I mean, politics is never fair in the, in the first place, but let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Because of what I'm saying, you two don't want to monetize my channel because I'm unscripted and the person on edit. Let me I can say what I want without being bothered by any outside interference. If you like if you like what I do, please like, share, and subscribe. Because like, share, and subscribe it encourages me to make more videos. When I make more videos, I saturate YouTube algorithm. When I saturate YouTube algorithm, I, I'm, it make more videos more expensive to broader audience when it's more expensive to broader audience. Might get them to enlighten, might get them to enlighten, think for themselves, all right? Because when they think for themselves, they're not group thinkers. Group thinkers are communism, Marxism, group thinkers are communism, Marxism, socialism, Antifa, Black Lives Matter. Those are group thinkers. They implement bad policy to control people's life, to rule people's life, all right? Because of that, I'm not taking any, any donation. Because when you think for yourself, you're not affecting me. And that's a good enough incentive for me as it is, if you think for yourself, all right? But on that, on that note, guys, let me know what you think. About Donald Trump pulling his nomination away, all right, and pointing this woman on. But I know, guys, I know your time is very precious, and I'm trying to wish you your time. This is the Hollywood Podcast. You have a good day. Peace.